In April 2012, IASI conducted yet another learning exchange visit in Gulu, northern Uganda. Women and men peacemakers from Kenya, Uganda, as well as the newly independent South Sudan came together to share, learn, and draw peace management lessons from each other. Empowering Hands has a victim-to-victim -victim program, which tries to reconcile returned victims and their former torturers. A peer-to-peer -peer program for the youth, counseling programs to reconcile families and the children they have rejected as a result of their participation in the Lord's Resistance Army War. Iasi heard stories of abduction, rape, forced marriages, killings, and tortures by members of Empowering Hands. <laughs> Some of these things are not even real, but to actually learn and hear from first-hand victims of what, have, what they've gone through and how they have overcome, how they've overcome, that is very important. Participants recommended that the next exchange visit be conducted in South Sudan. From the side of South Sudan, two areas, one for the South Sudanese again to come to an area where they can look at uh, methodologies of farming, good mm. practice in farming, so that they can learn to also be food secure within the villages that they, the women, the villages that they are working in, and also for our people to also go to South Sudan. When you see with your eyes and you hear with your mouth directly, that is really what you believe. And that IASI should help to document their experiences that were disappearing under the culture of oral history. in 1961 by Bishop Jean-Marie Auger and the daughters of Mary and Joseph, Mary Hill High School started as an O-level school with 25 students and became a beacon of hope for education of the girl child in Western Uganda. It was a time of hope for the girls in that region who had few options for secondary education, especially in the rural area. It was that treasured education that propelled me as a constituent assembly delegate to move that there should be at least one third women on every decision making body. Over the years, Mary Hill continues to produce women of integrity and purpose who are serving the nation in various capacities. I am in charge of regulating and supervising financial institutions. In the firm foundation I got in terms of faith and integrity has enabled me to perform my duties as a head of banking supervision in Uganda. I am very grateful for the ethics and a robust education that I received at Mary Hill High School because this has shaped my work ethic as a senior dental surgeon and a virologist. I continue to draw inspiration from the integrity and strength of character I built while at Mary Hill High School, which are a must for a public servant. And as all old girls, we have resolved to build the Golden Jubilee Complex that will house a library, a computer lab, and an administration block. We invite all friends to join us in this cause. The guest of honor will be His Excellency the President of Uganda, Yori Kaguta Museveni. The Apostolic Nuncio to Uganda, Monsignor Paul Shanginam, will be the main celebrant. Oh,